Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In this video, I'm going to be building an old MDC roundhouse kit. I'm not going to film all of this video in one take because there's a lot of modifications I want to make to this model. I will go over what I'm doing as the video goes on. Without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So here is the MDC roundhouse 280 kit it just got delivered today, a couple hours ago. And now we're going to unbox it. You know, it is really just easier just to snap. So there we go. It's open. Snapping just makes things so much easier. Let's go see what's inside here. When I got it, the package was relatively light. It's a lot of foam. Or, not foam. Whatever this is. Plastic. Plastic. More plastic. More plastic. More plastic. And here's the actual box. And you guessed it. It's surrounded in plastic. Bubble wrap plastic to be exact. So that's actually a smaller box than I was expecting. It's only about uh, maybe 12 uh, inches in diameter. This receipt. Here. I'm just gonna read half of the receipt at once because that's easier. So there's that. Here's the box with a nice uh, picture of a C21 on the outside. I wish. No. Let's open this up. This is the first time of me looking at this. If I can, you know, open it. You know, you can't really see it on camera, but this really has some nice, cool design on this box. Okay. Oh, look. Everything is blocked by instructions. So there's these. These look really nice. Looks like we got tons to choose from here. And here is the model. Looks really cool. It's very small. Narrow gauge. That's very nice. Tender is very, very small when compared to 2019 over here. That's <laughs> that's very small. You know, I actually didn't notice how small HON3 was until just now. So let's look at everything you have in the box. Um, you have a cab, a tiny cab. You have your cylinder. You know, this is the only one of my engines that has these type of cylinders. All the other ones have, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but you can see there's like two layers on all of it, on all of them, except for this one, which are like single tender uh, die cast. And wow, that makes up for all of the weight because that is heavy. The die cast chassis right here. I ordered the outside frame version of this too. It looks pretty nice. All of the wheels and other accessories in there. You got the. I'm not entirely sure what these are just yet. It looks like various pieces. Here's the boiler wrapped in more plastic on this side. Oh my goodness, I thought that was plastic. It is not plastic. It's actually really nice. Right there. But you know, I don't know if is some of this plastic. I don't know. But it's got a really nice weight to it, this engine. This engine's going to be good. And then, of course, the motor. Because this is not a static model. 
This is the first for me. I've never actually built a little one of these before. I've only ordered them. So this will be cool. And then I assume there's more pieces under here. Maybe. I assume you're right. All of the other pieces are in here. You have all of the stack you will ever need. Um... Entirely sure what those are. I think is this the shotgun stat? This is quite possibly the shotgun stat. Crossheads, I believe. This is a diecast frame, which is nice. And oh wait, is this the shotgun stack? This is the shotgun stack. It's a little thicker in diameter, so I don't know what that other piece right there is. Probably find that out later. And a bunch of other various small pieces. So that's it for the unboxing. I'm happy with my order as of so far and really cool. I only ordered this Sunday and today is Wednesday. So that is a very quick delivery. Of course, I only live a couple hours from them, but still really pr good props to model train market i was about to say stuff but i mean market as in model train market they have really good deals on a lot of trains check them out link in the description i am happy with my order the next thing i'm gonna do is get paint for the model it's now six days later and we rode down to michael's to get some spray paint the colors i got were black for the parts of the locomotive that weren't already that color and metallic silver for the valve gear Another six days later, and I began prep work for painting. On line 1A, it says to use a bread pan, glass, or metal, add vinegar deep enough to submerge part, and scrub each part with an old toothbrush. So I went ahead and got one of those real quick, and then I got to scrubbing. forgot to do the main rod and cross heads but here they are so there's all the pieces all scrubbed off At this point, it's three days later and it's Valentine's Day. 
It was also nice outside today, so I decided to do some spray painting. I decided to spray paint the cab black, even though it's already black, because I was curious to see if it would change the tone a little bit. And here is the part that holds in the pilot truck. I already primed these parts off camera, so now I'm spray painting them black. Next, I decided to paint the smoke box in the same metallic silver that I painted the rods in. Now basically all of the painting is done. The next thing I'm about to do to my kit is a modification. To show you what I'm about to do and why I'm about to do it, here's a comparison of the real life thing and the model that I'm building. This is what the kit looks like. And this is 361. Notice anything? Look at how tall the kit is compared to the real 361. Then I decided to do something about this. So then I went to YouTube to try to figure out if anybody had done something similar to what I'm trying to do. And then I saw this channel. And to make a long story short, he basically told me to cut down the cylinder saddle by an eighth of an inch. So a few days later, I bought a hacksaw and got to cutting. I didn't really get any footage of me sawing, but I did get some before and after pictures. As you can see, the model looks a lot lower, which is exactly what I was going for. It was a few days later when I decided to make another modification. What you're looking at right now is a lift in the running board to make way for an air tank. If we look at a photo of the real 361 in that exact same spot, there is no lift because there is no air tank. So with this recently bought hobby knife kit, I'm gonna cut off the raised part of the running board and re-glue it down lower where the rest of it is. So here it is, and I got the piece off. 
And while it may not look that good right now, I'm just gonna cover up that part with some piping or something in the future. And here's the part that I cut off and now I'm just gonna re-glue it right here. Though cutting off this part did come with one downside, but it didn't involve the model. Two days after that is when I painted the cylinder saddle. Then the next day after the black paint dried, I painted the cylinder heads in silver. I did this because on the real one, it has silver on the cylinders. Then I decided I didn't really like the silver smoke box too much. It wasn't that it was a bad color, I just wanted to change it. So I bought this graphite gray paint. Two days later, I did some touch-ups in black because from sanding and cutting, metal dust scraped away at the paint, so I'm repainting those parts. After I get done with this part, that's gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like and share if you think anybody else might find this interesting. And subscribe if you want to be notified when the next part of this video comes out where we start building the model. With that, I hope you all have a great day and see you in the next video.